Hi everybody, Natasha here from Vivify. And tomorrow I am gonna be doing this outreach presentation uh, for girls interested in STEM or specifically in engineering. And I'm gonna be doing our popular Space Lander challenge. So I thought as I'm kind of prepping my materials and putting it together, I just wanted to give you some insight on how I prepare for this lesson. I'm gonna be doing it with sixth, seventh and eighth grade girls. They're gonna be working in teams of two to three. So if you have not seen the Space Lander Challenge, I encourage you to go check it out. It's on our TPT store. We also have a blog post that talks about the Space Lander Challenge. So if you wanna take a second and go check it out, and then I'm gonna show you how I plan on implementing it. So the Space Lander Challenge basically asks students to think about building a landing device to keep their astronauts in their device while landing on Mars. I love to set this up with this amazing video by NASA. It's called The Seven Minutes of Terror. Very dramatic, lots of great engineers and scientists that are featured in the video. And it talks about landing the Curiosity rover, which I actually did not do this on purpose, but the Curiosity rover, pictured on my shirt, um, landing on Mars. And so we set the challenge up, we connect it to this real world uh, engineering project. And then we make it simplified so they could do an engineering challenge. So the basics, they have this cup, which is a nine ounce cup. Uh, you really need a spe this specific cup if you're gonna use ping pong balls. Otherwise, they'll just pop out too easily. Then you need some cardstock paper. This is a, quor a quarter sheet of cardstock and a ping pong ball. You can do this with one or two ping pong balls depending on the age level and time. I have a really short amount of time tomorrow, 45 minutes. And so I'm gonna go with one, but we're gonna have two there in case they need a better challenge. And that's the great thing about engineering design is you kind of have a basic challenge for everybody, which is drop this lander that keeps your ping pong ball safely inside from three feet by building underneath the landing device. So they can only build underneath. This is not a parachute challenge. It's a shock absorbing and drag challenge. So I start again with one at three feet. It's about my waist height. And if they can get it, we add another ping pong ball. If they can get that, then we start going up and up. And so it allows everyone a chance for success, but then also pushes students to go beyond that initial constraint. All right, so when I start the challenge, I first say, okay, we have this ping pong ball in here. What do you think is gonna happen if I drop it from three feet? So it's about waist height for me, but the ping pong ball bounces out. So I hope you could see that. Um, it actually, this flipped and the ball came flying out. So now the challenge is, what can you do to build underneath to one, absorb the shock of impact and also slow down your device? And I give the students index cards, I give them straws, I give them cotton balls, I give them tape, and they have to use those materials to build their device. Don't give them any examples, just start with this and see what they come up with, and then they can come and start testing. So for you guys, I'm gonna show you one possible design. This was my very own creation. I started by putting uh, these index cards to create a drag force, because the greater the surface area, the more it'll slow down our lander. But I found that it was really unstable and it was just a really hard impact. So I added cotton balls to absorb some of the shock but it was making it still unstable because they were, I didn't get them placed very well, distributed very well. So that's where my crazy straw contraption came in. It gave me a lot of stability. So when it landed, it landed upright. So we're gonna test it out real quick at three feet. And that worked. So now I would be asking the student, okay, you got it to work. What do you think helped reduce that drag? Um, that's especially important if it doesn't work, having them rethink about their, or think about their design and redesign. But if it does work, we can always make it better. So what can I do to increase the height? How can I change my design to keep two ping pong balls in? So I hope that gives you some good insight about our Space Lander Challenge. Feel free to comment a question below if you have any other tips on doing this challenge in your classroom. I know many of our followers have done this uh, Space Lander Challenge. So we'd love to hear if you've done it. Did you use marshmallows? That's a popular way to do this challenge as well. Uh, but be careful about the size of the cup and the type of material that you put in the cup because you can make it really hard or really easy. So best of luck doing it in your classroom.